Alright, so I just came back from playing about two hours of Modern Warfare, which was very fun. And after I did that, I came up to my room, checked my computer, which I'm sitting at right now, and um, just to see all the messages I, I got from YouTube. And it was really weird. I don't know exactly why, but all of a sudden, in those two hours that I was playing Modern Warfare, I got eight messages of people asking me whether I was going to APOC or not. Uh, for those of you that don't know what APOC is, APOC stands for Apocalypse, which is the big East Coast Nerf War that happens every August. Um, and I went to last year's, my first big NIC war, and a couple wars since then. And for those of you that asked, and for all of those of you that might be curious after I've been making this video. Yes, I am going to APOC 2010. Um, this video is going to be basically the video that I'm just going to explain some of the blasters that I'm bringing to the war uh, because I've been working and preparing for the war for the past week or so, basically getting all of my blasters ready. And yesterday I started preparing darts, um, cutting all of the blanks, putting them in the dryer. And then today I started making, I've made about 30 darts so far, but I have like 250 to go. So that'll be fun. Actually, I'm going to make about 350 darts for this war because uh, I have a friend coming along with me. And this is the first war that I'm going to where I'm actually bringing a friend, which will make this war even more fun. So that's cool. So, yeah. Uh, now for those of you that, that are still that still don't know everything about APOC, because I've been getting some questions other than just people asking me whether I'm going. Uh, a couple of other questions about, like, where it is, uh, and all that stuff. It is at, uh, well, it's in New Jersey, very, very close to the Jersey Shore, and I feel like I want to say it's Deal Park, but I don't think it's Deal Park. Uh, let me check, actually. I can check that right now, because I'm sitting at my computer. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just uh, opening. Uh, da, 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 nerf, uh, nerfhaven.com. I'm just gonna go onto the uh, the war thread and check to see where it's at. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Deal Park. It's out Deal Park, and it says Monmouth County, New Jersey. So that's where it is. Um, for any of you that actually want to know more information about the war, for those of you that are anywhere near the East Coast, and that would like to finally go to a war, or you know, the big East Coast war, um, don't ask me. Don't ask anyone else on YouTube, especially some of the more popular people on YouTube, because I can tell you from first-hand experience, Many of the popular people on YouTube who have loads of subscribers, when you ask them a question, it's almost guaranteed that that question will have been asked to them 15 times before that, or more, and one, it will annoy them, and two, they won't even answer back, because they're, you know, they've got better stuff to do. So, don't ask people like us questions, uh, figure them out yourself. Google it, or go to a forum, Nerf Haven, Nerf Revolution, Nerf HQ, all those, they're great forums. They have all the information you need, and yeah. So, enough ranting about that. Now I'll actually talk about what I'm bringing to APOC. All the blasters that I'll be using. Like I said, I'm, I'm bringing a friend, but um, I still have to work out all the blasters that I'm going to bring for him. Okay, so now I'll show you guys uh, all the blasters that I'll bring to the war, because I've just been ranting for the past three minutes. So, first things first. Ugh. Uh, first blaster that I'll be bringing is my lock and load. I'll take it out of its holster here. I just have it on a belt. And uh, the way I actually wear this is over my head, like this. Okay. It's getting twisted. Alright, good enough. But yeah, I actually wear it so this holster is um, right next to my armpit. So that way when this goes in, 
it's right on my my side and it's like a chest holster this is really twisted or is it no it's not okay but yeah so this is actually a really comfortable way to hold it and it's stable uh, what I used to do is I used to just wear this as a belt but not around any belt loops just around my waist and um, that was really uncomfortable and whenever I would run it would loosen up as it would go like higher on my waist and then lower again and it would like get all screwed up and that was annoying so having it on my chest like this it's easy to take out and fire and then easy to put back and it's it's locked so it doesn't fall out well wow that was a fail demonstration for the most part it doesn't come out because um well I don't bother explaining it but yeah so this is the first thing Update on this, I have replaced the plunger rod with a nut fender plunger rod, so I have this nice handle here to prime it back with. And also, this plunger rod is a little bit thinner than the lock and load plunger rod, and I can fit a different spring in here, uh, which is a much stronger spring. It's a rapid fire 20 spring. I'm getting 60 feet flat out of this. 60 feet. For comparison, Angel's lock and load mod was getting 56 flat. 60. And that's all because of this um, plunger rod replacement that allows me to use the Rapid Fire 20 spring, which is a really powerful spring. So, yeah. Alright, so that's the uh, Springer pistol that I'll be bringing. Get that out of the way. And then the other one, I, I have two more blasters to show you. The other blaster that you, you guys have already seen, uh, this is my Ace Bow, completely finished with its new paint job, which is a uh, black undercoat with light lightly uh, spray painted onto it white and uh, yeah so this is my ace bow that I'll be bringing I'm gonna back up the camera a little bit so I can hold this a little bit better so prime it back put a dart in close it and fire dry firing this is okay because it's super sturdy um, and yeah I've got a little uh, thing on here just to um, because when I use this gun, I'll also have my sidearm with me. So I'll just put this around my neck and just use the gun like this. And whenever I need my pistol, I just drop it and it hangs from my neck and I can whip my pistol out. So, yeah, that's my Ace This is going to be my um, the primer that I'll be using for two-team deathmatches. Because two-team deathmatches at APOC, because of the, the type of uh, battlegrounds there are, um, two-team deathmatches tend to be, be quite spread out and slightly longer range than multi-team deathmatches, a little bit less rushing, a little bit less uh, being uh, flanked from the sides or from the rear, so rapid fire guns or higher rate of fire guns aren't as needed, so accurate long range guns like this are perfect. So that's what I'll be using this for, and then for all of the other rounds, basically every other uh, game type, especially uh, primaries only rounds I'm gonna be using wait for it because you guys haven't seen this yet my long shot crossbow this thing is beast I'm gonna make a whole separate video for this gun because I haven't showed it to you guys yet and I have something special planned for the video that I'm gonna make on this gun but basically I got a new a uh, new long shot at JSNO or Jersey Shore Nerf out as it's known um, which was the last war that I've been to. And I got the long shot and the double shot. Integrated the double shot on the bottom. It acts very similar to a split fire because you have two shots. Although it's a springer, so you don't have to pump it. And there's no worry about if you accidentally have an air, air leak somewhere. Uh, once you prime it, obviously it's going to keep its power once you pull the trigger. This is getting about 30 feet. Um, there's no air restrictors in it to begin with, and it gets about 30 feet. So... It's you, the, the range doesn't really increase after you uh, attach it onto here, but um, I do have attached barrels so you can remove this. Um, but I don't really need to. It is it's coupler, so I can remove these barrels. But I just keep them in because I fire stock darts out of the the double shot. I just fire stock darts. Um, I'm not gonna be shooting any of this stuff in this video today. But uh, yeah, and then I have a uh, Ertl rapid fire shotgun spring and the, the stock spring uh, in this gun. Cool thing though, is the stock spring is the red one stock spring, the silver ones, which were slightly 
better quality than the black ones of the newer long shots. So it's got a good deal of power in it, the most power out of any long shot that I've ever had or made. So that's cool. Obviously it's got the pullback mod because um, that's what this whole thing is. And then a speed loader, which fits into the front and then fits tightly in the coupler. <clears throat> and then when you fire it, perfect air seal, flawless air seal, crap load of power. The most comfortable gun that I've ever had, super accurate, super far range, really nice rate of fire too because I've got two shots from the double shot as backup and uh, a nice quick speed loader. Yeah, so those are the guns that I'll be bringing to APOC. Yes, I am going to APOC. I'm bringing a friend and I have a couple other guns that I'll be bringing that I'll be making videos on after APOC. My friend is also going to be filming the majority of the war because that's actually what he's going for is actually film it because he's big on, on filming and stuff, on, and uh, getting all sorts of different things for his camera, because he has a really nice quality camera. And uh, so, basically, I was talking to him about the war, and he was like, ooh, I'd like to go to that to film some of it and get some cool footage that uh, you can make a war video for. And I was like, that's cool. So he's coming. He's going to be playing a little bit, filming most of it, and I'm going to make a really, really awesome war video. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching, YouTube. Candy Operative out.